Hey there, it's James, and I'm trying to just demystify project management. It's really not this secret dark art that uh, you might think it is. Honestly, all of us do it, so I'll prove it to you. If you have ever been a student, or if you've ever been a parent, and if you've ever played uh, real-time strategy video games, you've done project management. So if you're a student, actually, it's it's kind of messed up because they make all of us plan when we're students, like, you have to turn in this paper. And what do we do before we learn how to manage our time? We wait till like the night before and we do it and it's miserable. And then we learn a lesson, hopefully. And then we start planning, you know, one week ahead, two weeks ahead, one month ahead. And the teachers are actually trying to train us to do this and sometimes force us to turn in a draft a month ahead, turn in a revision two weeks ahead. So that's actually a lesson in project management. It's just not uh, really taught that way. So if you also, if you are a video gamer, I used to play a game called StarCraft probably about 20 years ago. So that dates me. But StarCraft and other real-time strategy games like World of Warcraft, Diablo, um, even like shooting games, you know, Counter-Strike, whatever. Those are, those are project management because you have to manage your resources, you have to manage your risks, you have to know, um, you know, how many like supplies you're collecting, what types of um, abilities you need to like have your, um, your units have so they can deal with different risks. If there's an attack coming from the sky, from land, uh, from underground, if you're going to, if someone's going to teleport and try to like steal your base. And um, so there's also a tactical and a strategic level too. Sometimes even just knowing how you like to play will help you choose your character. So if you're playing Starcraft, if you want to play, you know, Terrans or Zerg or Protoss, um, I think that's a really telling sign of what your planning and project management strategy is. And I'll make a statement that if you're a Zerg, I don't think you have any project management strategy. Um, and I think you're insane. But um, you definitely feel free to, to correct me in the comments. Um, but also if you're a parent. So obviously, you know, if, if you are a parent, you know that, you know, when you tell your kid it's time to go somewhere, the kid's not going to get themselves ready. So depending on how old they are, you have to tell them, then you have to remind them. You have to get yourself ready. Then you might have to change their clothes. Then they go to the bathroom, sometimes on the toilet, sometimes in their clothes. You have to give them a shower. You have to change them. You have to get their jacket because they don't know where their jacket and you have to get their sock, but then it's not their favorite sock. So you have to get a different sock. And the same thing with the shoes. And then they're running around outside and they don't want to get in the car seat. And before you know it, this whole thing has taken an hour longer than it had to. And so once you get that experience as a parent, you just start planning ahead. So if you want to leave somewhere at two o'clock, you tell them you got to leave at one o'clock, one thirty, and then it ends up being at two o'clock. And that's a great, that's a great lesson is um, having a buffer period because um, you know, despite our best intentions, we just underestimate things. So if you if you have a, a buffer, then you can fix some of that that problem. So, you know, basically, if you <laughs> if you if you think that that's interesting, like you know, kind of making your life work better, whether it's writing a paper, raising a kid, or beating someone in StarCraft, then project management might be for you. So yeah, let me know if you got any questions about that. I'll talk to you later. Bye.